On August 30th, Apple has given us some breaking news regarding Xcode Cloud subscriptions now being available. So this is no longer in beta, it's now available to the public, and you can get started today. So you can configure a workflow in your Xcode, and you'll get basically 25 compute hours per month for free until the end of 2023. I'll put this link in the description below, but we can come here to get started with Xcode Cloud. Now before you get started, there are a couple requirements for this. So you do need to be on Xcode 13.4.1 or later. Uh, you can do this with the beta as well, so Xcode 14 beta. Uh, and you do need to have an active membership in the Apple Developer Program. So that's not the free tier, you have to have the subscription paid. So if you have an individual account or are a member of a team, you should be able to utilize Xcode Cloud. In order to create the workflow, you do need to be the account holder or admin or an app manager of the account. And if you are a developer on your team or are a part of a marketing role on the team with access to the App Store Connect, you can create a workflow as well. Basically, you can go here to learn more about creating the workflows. There are a couple other things that your app needs to adhere to, basically, in order to make use of this. But also, you'll see that you do get 25 compute hours per month for free. And they've got the little asterisk here as always, so let's scroll down a little bit and see what that means. So looking at the free plan, we do get 25 hours per month for free up until December 2023. And then you'll be charged for the $14.99 per month if you do choose to subscribe at the time. And what does the compute hours per month mean? Well, so if you have five tasks that you run in Xcode Cloud and each task uses one hour, well, that's five hours right there that you've used just in that one shot. So that's five out of your 25 hours, and then you'll have 20 left for that month. And looking at your App Store Connect, you'll be able to track the hours that you've used in Xcode Cloud. So one thing I wanted to do is try to walk through this with you now and just show you what it looks like. So if I pull up the Blasty game that I created in Xcode, I am on Xcode 13.4.1. You'll see we have our signing team here set up and automatically manage signing. And if I come all the way to the tab on the right here for cloud, you'll see that our developer account is not a member of a team that is eligible to use Xcode cloud. I know that this developer account is enrolled in Apple Developer because I published the Blasty Ball game using this account. So I think this is a bug right now. In Xcode 13.4.1, I've tried quitting Xcode and coming back in, I still get this. I've also tried Xcode 14 beta 4 and beta 6 and still receive this error message. And if we go back to our browser here, I did find a couple different resources, but mainly this one from developer forums. Apparently other people are having the same problem. They have a team or an individual developer account membership and it is active, but they are not able to create a workflow in Xcode for Xcode Cloud. So we're not alone here. Plenty of other people having this problem. Uh, maybe you're having the problem too, in which case, if you want, leave a comment. And because this isn't working in Xcode, um, I'll show you the App Store Connect piece as well. So if you do have a current app in App Store Connect, you can come in here and click on the app and go to your Xcode Cloud tab to get started, create a workflow in Xcode. So I can't do this now, uh, maybe you can't either, but uh, hopefully I can get this done in the future so that I can leave some more tutorials here on how to actually make this work, especially using the free tier. Um, but yeah, if you did have um, Xcode Cloud, you would be able to see your usage here uh, for your app. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you are able to use Xcode Cloud. Um, I certainly can't right now, but uh, hopefully you don't have the bug. And if you are able to use it and not having any problems, or if you did have this problem and found a workaround, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, maybe it'll help some other people as well that are having the same issue. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.